Hi, in this video we're going through how to duplicate an existing page or post on your WordPress website. My name's Dan and this is WP Update. Welcome, my name's Dan, I'm a senior software engineer and full stack WordPress developer with WP Update. In this video we're going through how to duplicate a page, post or any other standard post type in your WordPress website. So let's start by heading to the dashboard. Now I'll assume for a moment that you're logged in now, if you're not logged in and you don't know how to get in, that's okay. There's a link in the description below to a video that'll take you through it. Now, what we're going to do is use a post duplication plugin for this one. So in order to be able to install new plugins, you'll need to be an administrator or you'll need to have an administrator do this for you if you're only an editor or a contributor within the WordPress website. So let's go through installing the plugins. We want to mouse over plugin, hit add new, and then we're going to search for post duplicator hit enter that'll have a bit of a search and we're looking for this one the post duplicator with 66 positive reviews at the time of filming and 200,000 instant app uh, installed applications or in installed instances I should say and updated relatively recently hit install now that'll install and it will take a few moments, that's okay, and that will depend on your server speed, and then click activate. All right, that's done, and you'll see up the top there, plugin activated, and we're good to go. Now we can go to the post or the page list, and this will work with posts, pages, or any of the other standard custom post types that you can use with WordPress. It won't work on media, though. So go to posts, in this case, all posts. And now when we mouse over, we have a new option, which is duplicate post. This is really, really handy if you're using formatted stuff or you're doing fairly formulaic posts with small variations here and there. So what we're going to do is have a look at the Kiske non lectus post that we created in a previous tutorial. Click on duplicate. And that has duplicated that. It was very, very quick. Click on, you can see this is the duplicate because it's got copy on the end. Then we're going to hit the quick edit button and we're just going to change the title of this one now. I'm just going to use some text I've got here, some Laura Mipsum text just on a different screen. There we go. And we're going to change the slug to just the first bit there. And then we're going to schedule that for the 10th of October. So that is now scheduled ahead. We're going to switch off comments. We're going to switch off pings. And we're going to keep it in the same examples tab. All right, click update. There we go. And you can see that is now changed. That's set to scheduled because that's what we've done. And now we can head in and we can edit this one as needed. Now, I'm not going to worry too much about the text. Let's just get rid of this paragraph there and add some extra paragraph text and you can see here what i mean by reasonably you know formulaic or have if you have a, a specific layout that you want to duplicate what quite regularly this could become very very handy and we're also going to change the featured so over to the post here we're going to change the featured image from the elephant to something we have got from unsplash there we go just click on the thing over there. There we go. That's good to go. Click schedule. That is done. And now we can view the post. We can see there updated text, updated image, most of the same text, but the additions all done and dusted. So thanks for watching. Check out the videos on the left for some more WordPress tips. Or if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you get notified whenever we post new tips. Stay safe, wash your hands, and we'll see you in the next video.